going to create an SVG file for the Shaper Origin to engrave. For this project, I'm going to be using the small drawing board, the 12 by 18 inch. I call this the portable board. Here's the diagram I'm going to trace. I'm using Logic Trace 2018, and I'm going to select Tracing Polylines. I trace out each part, and each part is a closed vector. What I mean by that is that when you trace out these parts and you select Done, the computer closes up that vector. You can also see here if you make a mistake, just go over to the Edit command, toggle to that section, delete it, and redraw it. Very simple. Each part of the diagram has to be separately drawn. I printed the diagram to fit perfectly full size on the drawing board. It's easier to trace a large diagram. Also, you'll notice sometimes I mark up the diagram with a colored pencil. That's my start, my start spot, or my stopping spot. Now that we're finished tracing out this bear's paw, I'll load this DXF file into Vectric Aspire 10.5, check the vector quality, and see if there's any editing required. It shows here the vectors are all closed, and we're all set to go. And now I'm going to take that file and run it through the simulator to see how it's going to look. Now I'm going to show the setup with the uh, Shaper Origin and the workstation. The workstation is in front there with the domino tape area. I've got the workpiece uh, stuck down to the slave table there using double-sided masking tape and I'm also using some small clamps. Before using Shaper Origin you have to scan the ID tape, the domino tape that's in front on the workstation. Shown here is the Shaper Origin uh, display screen and you can see that I'm following the uh, SVG file, the bear paw which I loaded in through the USB port and I've selected on the line and I've a depth of about 0.15. If you've used a hand router in the past you might think this is difficult but it's not. It's very smooth. You've got two controls on the Shaper Origin on the right hand side you have a green button which is your your cut which puts the bit down and on the left side you've got an orange button which is retract. If Shaper Origin sense that you're off track a bit it will automatically retract very quickly. It will not harm your workpiece. You can see here the USB port, the USB stick sticking on the side of Shaper Origin. Just on the middle of the picture, a small silver thing with a string hanging out. That's the SVG file plugged into Shaper Origin. A quick note here, you can also do a pocket cut and I've tried that and it works fine. Instead of the engrave which I selected, I could have selected a pocket cut and cut that paw print right out on the face of the wood.
The only real challenge here is to keep track of what you've cut. Every once in a while pull the shaper origin back, take a look at your cut, line it back up again and away you go. And when I say line it back up, I don't really mean that because when you put the shaper origin back in place you just follow the diagram. It's been indexed when you first started. I've finished the engrave and it looks good. Shown here I've added some black paint to the engraving part, added a bit of text, the bear paw, and gave it a clear coat finish.